Hey guys, Private Jack here. Quick tutorial on how to paint an item. So you want to paint something that's paintable and you're not quite sure how to do it. Well, there's a lot of different uh, methods out there and I found that this might be the quickest and simplest way to do it. So let's get into it right now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my user mod or my Source Filmmaker directory. And I'm going to go into my TF folder, into the materials, and down to models, player, items, scout, and I'm going to grab uh, the mascot. Uh, there's a different name for it. The actual name for it, uh, something essentials, uh, essential accessories. That's what it is. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, BMT file, and I'm just going to move that to my or copy that to my desktop. Now, of course, I can't see the stuff on my desktop because I've got it all hidden. So what I'm going to do is just quickly open up Explorer and go to my desktop. So in here I've got a BMT file. Right there. I'm going to open that up in Notepad++. Okay. If you scroll down in the file you'll find something that is called Color Tint Base. What this is is the original color of the item. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to 70205570. Where's it? 50. 50. Sorry, 50, 205, 50. And what that is is the uh, defeater or lime colored uh, uh, TF2 color. Now, I'm going to file save this to my user mod directory. And I'm going to put it in materials, models, player, items, scout. This is, uh, if you remember rightly, I took it out of my TF, models, player, Items scout directory, so I have to put it back in my user mod directory in the same place. And I'm going to call it the same name that it was before. Now, save. Because of the order of priority in uh, folder structures in Source Filmmaker, what will happen is when I come in here to open up that item, it will find the VMT in the user mod directory. Uh, it might not do this on the first run because for whatever reason I can't load uh, Source Filmmaker does not load materials on the first run but let's give it a try anyway so MMC and I gotta go back up into my all mods because I didn't put the, full, uh, the model in the folder and I want this mascot outfit and look at that. See that? It's changed the color to the lime green. So, quick and dirty, easy way to paint items in Source Funnel Maker. Now, if I want it to go back to its original color, all I have to do is rename the file in my user mod directory. Steam user mod. Nope, wrong one. User mod, materials, models, player, items, scout. I'm just going to rename this file to something other than what the actual name is. Now, this is where it will not work. Okay, so I come in here and I do a new model and I want that mascot, see it's still green. So what I have to do is I have to exit Source Funnel Maker, 
restart it. Create a session, open a map. This is the longest part of opening up Source Funnel Maker. Okay, add a new model. And what I should find now is that my the color of my item has gone back to the original color. And there it is, back to its original color. That's how you paint items quickly in Source Tunnel Maker. Uh, with that, Private Jack out.